the head of the International Atomic Energy Agency, has confirmed it has received an invitation from Iran to visit the Arak heavy water production plant, a facility linked to a still unfinished reactor that could produce enough plutonium for up to two warheads a year. It will be the first time in two years the UN nuclear watchdog has been allowed to carry out inspections in Iran. Under a framework for cooperation between Iran and the agency on November the 11th, Tehran agreed to implement six practical measures within three months towards a comprehensive resolution of its nuclear problem, which include Iran's voluntary provision of specific access and information to IAEA inspectors. Iran committed itself under the framework to implementing six practical measures within three months. Today, we received an invitation from Iran to visit the heavy water production plant at Iraq on no December 8th. The framework for cooperation is an important uh, step forward, but much more needs to be done. The joint plan of action struck between Iran and six world powers in Geneva earlier this month commits Tehran to freeze its nuclear program for six months in return for limited relief from economic sanctions. IAEA chief Yuki Amano says EU High Representative Catherine Ashton has sent him a letter on behalf of the P5 plus one group to highlight the important role of the UN agency in the verification of the nuclear related measures which were agreed in Geneva. The IAEA is considering how the elements of the joint plan of action relevant to the agency can be put into practice and Amano warned that this analysis would take some time. The Arak facility produces heavy water for a nearby research reactor still under construction. Iran says it is only for medical and civilian purposes, though other nations such as Israel suspect that it may be able to produce weapons-grade plutonium. The IAEA visit will enable inspectors to get a clearer picture of exactly how much material the plant is producing, as well as other technical details. Ian McKinnell, CCTV.